Hey folks, it's Grant over at Local Cooling Farms. I'm over in our Red Wiggler Vermi Culture Vermi Composting Hoop House. Over the years, I've gotten a lot of questions over um, how do I know if the worms will eat it, uh, you know, things along those lines. And um, what I've always told people is to just go ahead and whatever material it is or compost that you're thinking about, giving it to your worms, uh, just make sure it has the proper moisture content and then you can put it in the worm bin, just like a little pile of it and see if the worms um, gravitate towards it. And so uh, I just put these in yesterday. I'm not really expecting them to be all up in it, but this is a, um, a shredded paper that is coming from a, um, a drywall sheetrock facility here in the area. And so when they have the sheetrock that doesn't meet spec, they run it through a machine, they pull all the gypsum back out, and then they, they have this paper that they would otherwise landfill. So we're, you know, working with them, uh, and then we're seeing how we can utilize it here at the farm. And so, uh, so I just put this in here yesterday, um, and then I, I wet it. And so, um, you know, we've got, you know, worms underneath it, um, but, you know, no worm action uh, up in it yet. But the fact that they're near it is a good sign. They could also be there just because of the moisture. Um, and so what's going to happen is on a product, a high carbon product like this, the worms may not get after it um, right away because, um, you know, honestly what happens, you know, white rot fungi and other things start attacking it um, in the bin. Uh, mold is going to start growing on it and stuff like that. And then the worms are going to come in after. So I'm not anticipating anything uh, today. I just kind of like wanted to show y'all, um, you know, what we're doing here. Um, they do use a, uh, I'm not sure what type of sugar it is, but there is a, a glue that's used in sheetrock uh, manufacturing. Um, and I, I'm thinking that they may really like... Um, that material is kind of like what I'm thinking. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So I did, um, I did eight piles in eight separate bins and it looks like all of them, uh, are basically, you know, showing the same signs. Um, you know, they held moisture, uh, the worms are underneath them, but the worms are not necessarily up in it yet. Um, and what you'll start to see um, if they start attacking it is that it'll start getting like kind of like dispersed because the worms start actually kind of moving it around. Um, so we'll just see, um, what's going on with that material. But anyway, but this is how you would test, uh, a new material. Just put a little bit of it in the bin and then see what happens. And so that's a good indicator as to what's going on. Um, otherwise just to check on some of these other bins, uh, we just fed everybody, um, a layer of compost. We did just feed these too. So they've got plenty of food in there. Um, and when I say, you know, we fed them compost, we got our, um, our composted coffee grounds in here. Um, and then we've got, um, we're starting to mix them in separate. We've got our crab shell compost. This is a piece of crab shell. So we get crab shell in from a crab processing facility. We compost that. Um, in this case, we composted it with this pine bark. Um, and so this is the, the crab compost that we put in there. Um, uh, we put that in there for the, the calcium and the chitin and a couple of other things that we want out of it. Otherwise, uh, we've just got our composted coffee grounds, um, and they're all up in the mix. We kind of mixed up the coffee grounds a little bit with that crab shell. This is a, a, a crab claw. You can see the, you know, the piece of that claw where they grip. I almost want to call it their teeth but it's on the claw, so it's not teeth. Um, so anyway, yeah, so the worms are doing really well. When we feed them, we put in, um, we put in three to five gallons of material in at a time, um, and then it's kind of like a weekly or a bi-monthly feeding, depending on, uh, do we need the worms? Do we need the worm castings? Like what's going on with our the worm side of our business? Um, but they're doing really well. Um, in there and so they're all mixed up. I'm probably going to water them again today. Um, 
but yeah, they're doing their thing. And we put so much compost in there, they're going to be dispersed uh, throughout all of this. And so um, it's not like we just put a cup in there. We put, you know, we put almost a five gallon bucket in here. So they got, they got plenty. So, all right, well, that's what's up in the, the worm bin today. Uh, and then when I water them, I just used a, I just used a simple water wand, you know, so we just, uh, we just go and count the number of seconds that we, that we water them with. All the barrels have holes drilled in the bottom. Um, so there's no, uh, no secret, uh, here. There's no secret sauce, silver bullet. It's pretty basic worms in a barrel with drain holes, uh, feeding them, um, a quality compost. All right. Well, y'all have a good one.